Hello everyone, it's Steve from Aircraft Specialty with our new video series, Let's Talk About Hose. Now in this video, we're going to go ahead and discuss why our hoses are the absolute best hoses in the industry that your money can buy. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a comparison between a couple of hoses made by Aeroquip and then the hoses that we produce. So in this first picture, you're going to see uh, Aeroquip 303 hose installation. Now, one of the things that jumps out at me in this picture is that this is a uh, firewall forward installation and these hoses aren't fire sleeved. This is something that a lot of builders have become accustomed to. Um, Aeroquip 303 hose has a very large bend radius and adding fire sleeves sometimes made it a little bit, of, a little bit cumbersome to work with. But um, what we recommend at Aircraft Specialty is we recommend fire sleeving any hose that's firewall forward to give you added protection in the event of a fire. And as you'll see in this Rotex 912 installation, all of our hoses, firewall forward, have been fire sleeved. Uh, the hoses that we use are extremely modern technology. They're vastly superior to the Aeroquip 303 hose, and they're extremely lightweight. So even with the fire sleeve on them, they weigh a lot less than the equivalent Aeroquip uh, 303 hose. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring up a chart that examines a couple different types of hoses out there. So first off there's the Aeroquip 303 hose. Uh, that is a rubber core hose. It's non-conductive. Um, because it's a rubber core hose it's not impervious to some fuel blends, ethanol, uh, items like that. And also it's a time limited hose that over time will degrade due to uh, both environmental exposure and also the types of fluids that you're running through it. And so therefore it's going to require placement at a regular interval. Um, it's a heavy hose it has a large bend radius, um, but it is a cost-effective hose, so that's, that is uh, a good positive point for Aeroquip 303. And then we take a look at Aeroquip 666 hose and Aircraft Specialty hose. Now these hoses are very similar from a quality standpoint. Uh, the hose that we use is slightly superior to the Aeroquip 666 in a couple areas, but uh, pretty much they are very uh, similar and equivalent hoses, except that the Aeroquip 666 hose is actually a certified hose, whereas our hose has all the same sorts of specifications. Um, it just does not have the certified stamp of approval on it. Both of these hoses are conductive Teflon hoses with um, uh, conductive liners in them, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. They're impervious to any sort of fuel or fluids that you're running through them. Uh, the aircraft specialty hose that we have here is extremely lightweight. Uh, the Aeroquip 666 hose is just slightly heavier than it. Um, also, our bend radiuses on our hoses are slightly tighter than what you would get with an Aeroquip 666 hose. Um, the disadvantage to the Aeroquip 666 hose is that it's extremely expensive, whereas ours are extremely cost effective. Next, we're going to talk about the uh, advantages of a PTFE conductive Teflon hose. And first of all, we've already talked about how it's impervious to fuel blends. So that's one important feature of the conductive Teflon hose. In addition, uh, since it doesn't degrade over time, there's no time lifespan on the hose. Uh, it won't get brittle and, and crack or leak because of that. And then finally, the conductive layer in it what that does is anyone who's walked across a carpet and then uh, touched something metal knows you get a little spark that discharges. Well, fluid running through a hose can cause the exact same phenomenon to occur. So you can get little static discharges in your hoses. And what these do is they create little pinholes in, in, in the hose, which can cause leaks over time. So what a conductive Teflon hose does is there's actually a very thin layer of uh, a conductive element inside your hose and it wraps all the way around it and what it does is it creates a path for electricity to discharge through the ends of the fittings so you never get those little pinholes it just basically becomes part of the grounding structure of your aircraft and uh, it's something that's done on high-end certified hoses and we have it also with the hoses that uh, we offer for aircraft next we're going to take a look at the weight and bend radius comparison between the two uh, the three different types of hoses so first of all uh, we're going to take a look at dash four hose sizes quarter inch diameter hose here uh, on the 303 hose we're talking a minimum bend radius of three inches on the triple six hose we're talking a bend radius of two inches and on our hose a minimum bend radius of 1.5 inches so when you take a look at that um, and this also goes up with the larger size hoses it's it's a very similar thing um, we're going to be able to get our hoses into an extremely tight area compared to some of the Aeroquip models. In addition, when you take a look at our Dash 4 size hose versus a 303 hose, we are just a little bit more than half the weight of a 303 hose. 
um, and a lot of that's accounted for uh, by the fact that the AeroQuip 303 hose is a lot bulkier, which also contributes to the fact that it can't bend in the, the tight bend radiuses that we can get ours into also. And finally, let's talk about our fittings. This is another place that differentiates us from the competition. Uh, on our aircraft specialty hoses, we use all uh, stainless steel fittings. And we use these for two reasons. Number one, stainless steel fittings are extremely strong when you compare them to the equivalent aluminum type fitting. Secondly, stainless steel offers extreme fire resistance compared to an aluminum fitting. So basically, we could have saved uh, a bunch of money by putting cheaper fittings on these hoses, but these are absolutely the best fittings that you can get. And since uh, they're going on aircraft and we use them on our own aircraft, we feel that it was important to make sure that we made this a standard feature for every hose that we produce. And now we'll run a cost comparison. Uh, when you take a look uh, for this example, a Dash 4 hose, uh, 36 inches long with fire sleeve and two straight fittings. The AeroQuip 303 hose, you get a total hose cost of about $73.90. Uh, remember, this is a non-conductive hose that will have to be replaced at a regular interval because of degradation. Uh, an AeroQuip 666 hose, you're looking at $172.70 for a hose that uh, Weep can produce for you for $94.98. Also, uh, if you purchase this AeroQuip 666 hose and you assemble it yourself, it won't be pressure tested. Our cost includes pressure testing on every hose that we produce. The uh, second hose comparison will be a 24-inch Dash 4 hose. Uh, but on this hose, we're going to use not only a straight fitting, but also a 90 degree fitting. Uh, on the AeroQuip hose, you're looking at a cost of $109. On the AeroQuip 666 hose, I wasn't able to find a 90 degree fitting uh, readily available. Um, so I'm not sure what the cost on that would be, but it would be very expensive. And on our hose, we're looking at a total cost of $90.70 for that same hose. Now, with all this information said, uh, another thing that differentiates us from our competition is the equipment and the experience that we have at Aircraft Specialty. Uh, we have all brand new equipment which is designed to crimp hundreds of hose ends per hour. And although we're not building uh, hundreds of hose ends per hour right now, we want to make sure that as this hose business grows and expands, we're able to continue to provide our customers with extremely quick lead times on hoses and have the capacity to be able to build hoses at whatever volume our customers need. Um, if you take a look at our hose building video, you'll actually get to see some of our equipment and work and how we actually create these assemblies. Secondly, because of the uh, equipment that we purchased uh, being slightly uh, overkill for the type of work we do, we have very high quality industrial equipment that can literally hold our crimp specifications within thousandths of an inch. Now, the reason that you want to be able to hold such tight tolerances is because when you crimp these hose ends onto our um, you know, crimp the fittings down. You want to make sure that you're getting the exact correct diameter. This makes sure A, that the hose end doesn't leak, and B, that you're not crimping it too far and constricting the stem inside the hose, which could impede fuel flow. And finally, the last thing that we do is we have hose pressure testing equipment, and we test every single hose that comes off of our line. Um, whereas some manufacturers may just do a, a test on a hose every 10 or 20 to verify uh, compliance, we do it to every single hose test every single fitting and as aircraft builders uh, and having been doing this for a long time we know the importance of these hoses they're the lifeblood of your aircraft and you can't afford to have one fail so that's why we feel that it's imperative to pressure test every hose so that you can be confident when it goes on your airplane it was tested uh, finally we're so confident in the hoses that we produce that we have the absolute uh, best unprecedented warranty in the industry we offer a 10-year warranty on every hose assembly that we produce. If you ever have a problem within that 10 years, we will replace them at no charge. Even though we don't have a specified replacement time, we know that uh, some people will want to replace their hoses at a 10-year interval or a 15-year interval just because they would like to put new hoses on their aircraft. So what we do is we keep every hose on file, uh, all the dimensions and specifications, and if you do decide to replace it after 10 years, we will go ahead and offer a 20% discount off of your set of replacement hoses. We hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, the next uh, Let's Talk Hose video is going to detail how to use our website in the ordering process. And then uh, the third video in the series will discuss 
and show how we actually produce your hoses. So we hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions please feel free to contact us via our website or you can contact me directly at steve at aircraftspecialty.com. Have a great day.